This is Justin Ortiz from Team Paul Mitchell here in Miami, Florida, the home base of the WKF Power and Point Fighter Radio here with Alex Reyes, my man. What we're going to go through is a uh, drill for psychic. Now this is just a concept drill. This is um, how to develop a very good psychic to have good stopping power at the same time have good quality within the sidekick to stop an opponent or to make some good impact with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on the power wall today. So just come on over here, Mr. Brady's power wall. We just got done with the awesome training, so I'm, I'm pretty excited right now. Alright, so the first thing is first, make sure that when you do any wall drills with kicks that your back foot is pivot 180 degrees, okay, completely facing the wall. This is going to maximize your power and your distance, okay? So those two, power and distance, you want to make sure that this is completely 180, okay? Now, from here, we're going to take our knee and we're going to lift it up in a psychic chamber. Now, one thing I want you to watch out for is making sure that your psychic chamber doesn't come too far in, because traditionally, this is correct. If you're doing forms, it's beautiful. Bring it in and you pop it out. That's awesome. But when it comes to fighting, that takes time because you're adding distance from the opponent to the kick time you don't have, that's when they step in and they hit you, okay? So you don't want to do anything like that. So you want to make sure that your knee is still in front of you, okay? Three points I want you to look out for. Your heel, that's the first point. Second point is your knee. Third point is obviously going to be your hip, okay? Those wants to be in a straight line, okay? Same plane, straight line, okay? This way that when we throw that side kick, that whole muscle, that whole leg is going into our opponent and not just our foot. Not, we're not sliding into our opponent, we're not angling our foot, we're not bringing it back here, okay? So we want to make sure it's on the same line. The heel, don't bring it in, okay? Because if we bring it in, this is how we still look like, even though we're hitting with our heel, we still look like we're doing, we're doing a roundhouse kick, okay? This is what I like to call, when I talk to kids, uh, I like to say, this is, this is a dog going pee when you're doing this type of psychic. So don't do that type of psychic. I love it. <laughs> so, so don't do that type of psychic when you're throwing this. Okay, this is again, dog taking a pee, I don't like it. So make sure that your heel and your knee is in the same level, same line, okay, one, two, three. Now from here, to maximize the power, because there's two, two motions when it comes to psychic. We got the chamber, and then we got the pivot. The problem is when we point fight, when we slide for a roundhouse kick, we're already pivot, so we pop the roundhouse kick. When we slide for a side kick, we're already in a side kick, so most people just push it out. That's weak. Okay, especially if you're fighting some bigger heavyweight fighters, you don't want to just push because they're just going to walk right through it. So every time you do that, that second motion side kick, what you want to do with the second motion is I like to call with the kids is do the twist. Okay, it's a dance. I think great fighters are good dancers. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your front foot, all you're going to do is do the twist. Okay, so with the kids, I have them do this, sometimes I put some music on and they just do the twist. But what that shows is, we do one foot, now we do both foot, both feet. So, what that shows is that pivot that you need to do every single time that you're throwing that side kick. Then, instead of doing it on the floor, what I have them do is take their knee up and do it in the air. You see this motion here? We call it the chicken wing twist, okay? But that chicken wing twist is what you need to have that second motion to create the pop. My knee comes down and my heel comes up. And when that happens, the sidekick comes up with power. So every time I'm throwing it, when I'm throwing it in the air, you should see a nice good pop to it. And that's how you do a nice stuff and good sidekick. This is a Justin Ortiz, Point Fire Radio, here in Miami, Florida, with my man Alex Reyes. Power, baby. Power.